So here is what you need to know about ChatGPT. So first of all, ChatGPT is a chatbot launched by OpenAI in November 2022. But why it is in the hot news right now is because it makes use of artificial intelligence to give response to your messages that you send. It's useful to write articles, write the blogs, debugging, write a code and so many things in all. It full form stands with generative pre-trained transformer and if you want a live demo of ChatGPT, then consider subscribing this channel. Don't forget to like this video. So let's start with a live demo of ChatGPT usage. So this is the first page that you will see once you get landed up to the openai.com as ChatGPT is powered by OpenAI. And uh, then here you have to verify that you are a human. And if you are new, then you just sign up create your account by just entering your email id just create a password and then you have to verify your email address so these are just simple steps that you need to log in first and then here it's giving some research preview how it collects data and they are clearly mentioning the drawbacks on their chatbot that they have limited access to events that happened after 2021 and it may generate incorrect information so now here I'm successfully logged in and I'm on the chatbot screen of this chat GPT. So let's start the conversation with hi, how are you, these things. And you will see the difference, how it is different from Google. You have to notice one thing here that it is generating the responses in the real time and the answers to hi, how are you are not pre-saved. So let's ask this question that what's my name and see if it will pick my username or not. So right now it's not able to pick my name. So let me regenerate the response so that I can get any other answer. So now it's asking me my name and then I'll ask the same question again, which means what's my name? The answer for this is not pre-saved and it will change. So I have saved my name. I have told my name is boss and I'm asking the same question again. So now let's see. Yeah. So you see the response is changed now. Now, since it is changing response based on what I feed, so let me first ask what is 10 plus 2? It's 12. Okay, now let me feed that it's 78 and check if it agrees to my answer. Okay, so yeah, so it's not like whatever you say, it will save and then fetch you the same answer. So it's not saving that thing exactly. So, okay, now let's let's see some other functionalities. So here I have just cleared the conversation and I'm trying to create a program like if it give me a program to reverse a number using C++, it will really help me a lot in the interviews. Let's see if it will create. Whoa. So you can see in real time, it's doing the coding in the C++, writing the code of whatever command I have given. Let's see. So you see chat GPT has given you the code based on the command that you have given to it. And it's writing a small description of whatever the code is a small justification to that. Now let's see if chat GPT can give us responses to future questions as well like the events which have not executed yet. Let me ask who will be the big boss 16 winner. So let me see unlike Google, it will give me some responses from website or not. So it's creating the question, it's, it's creating the answer right now and giving like it's a future event and uh, right now no response with it. Okay. Now there is this another feature where you can use chat GPT is writing your articles, writing your blogs. So let me write an article for Big Boss 16 so that I can publish it somewhere. I can earn money using using creating blogs from here or something like that. So it has started creating out the answer like line by line. Unlike the Google where you can see many websites are there. You have to scroll, you have to read. But here is a limited set of answers from a lot of websites. So it's like pre-trained. Now I think I have to do stop generating because it's a lot of information. And uh, one more thing is in near future, this is of no use because if we just copy and paste the responses from this, then it will be detected by AI detectors that it is not written by human. So let's just see that also in a live demo. I have just copy paste the article response that I have received in a website, which will you can in the right hand side, you can see there is a detection score that how much percentage is it is written by a human. So let me just analyze the text and you see 
it has analyzed that it is 3% human generated so that's all for this video consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video